In this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite way of finding product opportunity using Helium 10, and it's using the Keywords tab of Blackbox. Let's dive right into it. Okay, so let's hop into this right straight away. We talked about in the products video that what signify demand, you know, for a product that might have demand is looking at their sales numbers. When, when we're talking about keywords, what signifies demand for keywords? That is search volume. Search volume means the estimated number of times somebody searches for a product in a, a given month, all right? So the estimated monthly search volume. So Helium 10 has some highly accurate search volume estimates about how many times people search for products. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I wanna find something that, um, I wanna find something that people are searching for, okay? So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna put a minimum of, let's just say 3,000 searches. Again, this there's no magic number here about what signifies opportunity. You do what works for you. You know, some in some categories, even 1,000. Uh, is a great search volume. In other categories, some people want to have 10,000. You do what works for you. I'm just going to say 3,000 to 9,000 searches a month, all right? And the rest of these is basically saying of the top products, all right, how much money are people making on average, all right, of the top products in the search, in the keyword that I'm uh, that I'm going to find, all right? Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to do that one. I, I really don't care about that. Uh, right now, I'm just looking at search volume. I, I totally could put that here, but in this case, I'm just not going to. Uh, I am going to put the minimum price, though. I'm gonna, I want to say I want to find stuff that's between, uh, let's just say, $12 and $40. Again, we are talking average price for the top products for this keyword, all right? Average. It's not saying that uh, in this keyword, there's nobody that gets at $7 or nobody that gets $50, but the average is between $12 and $40. Review count. This is another good one I definitely want to do. Let's go a little bit lower than that one time that we did it in the product video. Let's go an average of less than 50, all right? So if you take the number of reviews of the top products on this on the search results of this keyword, on average, it's less than 50, all right? The last time that we checked. I could do review rating, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Let's go ahead and do a word count. Um, I'm gonna say minimum two. This is for the keyword phrase that's gonna show up. I want something that's at least two words. This is just me, but let me explain why I want that. This is because that a lot of one word keyword phrases don't have a lot of what I call buyer intent. Buyer intent means if somebody uses that keyword, they probably are not looking to buy something. For example, the keyword kitchen, right? Probably has a lot of search volume, maybe 20,000. Who knows what kind of search volume kitchen has. But do you really think anybody searching kitchen is trying to buy something on Amazon? Probably not. They're just using Amazon like Pinterest or Etsy to get some ideas or something because it's too broad of a search. But when you start adding words to it like kitchen utensils, kitchen utensils probably has way more buying intent than kitchen because if you're searching a specific word like kitchen utensils or stainless steel kitchen utensils, well, most likely somebody's going to buy something. So again, that's why I'm putting a minimum of two. You do what works for you. Uh, again, we can pick what, uh, where the products are on this page, like kind of like on average or what's the main category. I forgot what we did in the last one. I think patio, lawn, and garden or something. So let's do something different. Let's maybe do, um, let's do collectible coins for whatever reason. Let's do that one. Let's do, say, camera and photo and maybe one more. How about musical instruments, all right? So we're checking in those three categories. Uh, here, I can actually put the keyword that I'm searching for. Like, hey, I want to see keywords that have the word X in it. You know, like, I uh, show me keywords that have the word collagen in it, all right? In this case, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not trying to look for something that specific. So let's just uh, leave this one blank here. I can exclude keywords too. Like, again, if, if this was a seasonal time, and like it was near St. Patrick's Day, and I knew there would be a lot of results about St. Patrick's or Valentine's Day or whatever, I would exclude some words that are, are common to that to that time period so that I'm not looking at the seasonal keywords. I'm not going to do that right here. Let's just see what happens. Uh, shipping size tier, I could do that. Actually, there's tons of stuff here. Um, uh, let me go ahead and pick... Uh, uh, let's go ahead and do a maximum of... of I was going to say a maximum of two variations, but you know what? In this case, I'm just going to leave that one blank. I think this might be enough for me. I could do number of sellers. Um, I could do broad reach potential. This is something that uh, is exclusive to Helium 10 as of the time I'm making this video where it kind of shows you 
how many different keywords could come from this keyword in, in one of your sponsored products campaigns, all right? So as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to try and go with this. Now, this might bring me over 200, and if so, uh, I might have to go more. No, not even 200. It only gave me three. All right, so again, just like in my products video, I, I found something that was pretty uh, unique, all right? Again, if, if it says over 200, I probably need to go back and make some, these a little bit more narrow. Um, let's take a look at some of these, all right? FPV camera webcam, webcam stand, all right? So why did this come up, webcam stand? Well, it has over 5,000 people searching for it, 5,700. What did I say up here? Between three and 9,000, all right? And it, the last time we had checked, as far as the number of reviews, you know, not necessarily the number of ratings, but as far as the number of reviews, it, it was an average of fit, uh, 47. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this keyword. I can click here, and I'm going to hit View on Amazon. And then I can see Webcam Stand here, all right? And so you can see a lot of these products uh, have a low number of reviews. All right, we see some in the 300s, but then look, there's 25, there's 12, there's four, there's 25 again. All right, so on here, this is an interesting page of webcam stand. So this might be something that I want to look into. There's people, enough people searching for it, right? Um, maybe there's something that I want to uh, investigate. Can I rank a product on this page? All right, Kazoo's Musical Instruments. I have no idea what that is. FPV camera, I don't know what that is either, but that's the whole point of this search. You're going to find things that you didn't even know existed as keywords, but these are things that people are searching for. Look at that, 3,000 people searching for that, 3,600. So again, we have a lot of different filters here. Don't copy the filters that I did. I just literally picked this randomly. I didn't prepare any of this, guys. I'm doing this all live right now with no cuts here where I'm basically just going through and showing you the process of what you would do. So... How would you do it differently? You put here what kind of price range you want the products to have. You put here what kind of search volume the product has, or if you want review counts, or if you want any of these other filters, and just uh, start cranking out these searches. Like do 10, 20, 30 of these searches. Find 10 or 15 different potential products before you start going to validate it because the more research you do and the more possibilities, the better chance you have at finding a home run. So again, I wish you the best of success in this. This was black box for keywords. And in the next video, we're going to go over the competitors tool here in black box.